In part 1 on the old second balance principle discussion, we established the uh, principle itself, which was uh, nothing but saying that the VL average, average CCA average voltage across an inductor is 0 under DC steady state. Okay, next uh, let's look at uh, an example illustrating the old second balance principle. So what I have is um, I'm applying a switching voltage waveform to this inductor and I'm also monitoring the current through the inductor. Okay. So first of all, this is a switching waveform with a period of uh, exactly 10 microsecond, Ts equals 10 microsecond. And I'm applying a positive pulse, so this could be your T on interval. Okay. And here the D is uh, is one, one third. Okay. So for one third of Ts, I'm applying a positive 20 volts and for the remaining uh, two third of the period, so this would be my T off, off interval uh, or one minus D times Ts interval. And during this period, I'm applying a negative voltage of minus 10 volts. Okay. So if you write the um, um, old second balance equation, it would be 20 times D, which is one over one third um, minus 10, that is the voltage during the off interval times um, two third. Okay. One minus D is two third. And uh, you can verify that that is equal to zero. Therefore, old second balance has been satisfied. Okay. Um, or the uh, area under the positive part of the waveform is exactly equal to the area under the negative part of the waveform. So, so in response to the uh, old second balance being uh, satisfied, let's look at the inductor current. So, inductor current is given by this VL is L di over dt, dil over dt or the slope of uh, IL, um, DIL over DT is the, at any part of the waveform, it's VL over L. Okay. So this slope during, um, let me get this, the slope, I'll call this as M1, during the rising part or during the on interval, it is positive 20 over L. Okay. So it rises at that slope and reaches some finite value at the end of the on interval. During the off interval, uh, the uh, slope of the inductor current, call this as M2, that is minus 10, the VL over L. So it's negative slope, so the current falls down. And because we have satisfied the volt second balance, or because the VL average is zero, the current reaches exactly zero at the end of one, one switching period. Okay. Or more generally, the current reaches the exact value with which it began the cycle at the beginning uh, somewhere here. Okay. Since we started with zero, we are also ending with zero. Okay, so now consider a different switching waveform applied to the same inductor. Uh, I'm keeping the um, on and off interval duration the same, uh, but during the on interval, I still apply the same 20 volts, but during the off interval, instead of applying uh, negative 10 volts, I apply negative 20 volts. Okay. Um, so clearly the old second balance is not going to be satisfied here. So if I write the old second equation, it is uh, during the on interval, it is 20, duration is uh, um, or one third. And during the off interval, it is minus 20 times two over three. Okay, so that should be equal to what 20 uh, minus 40 over three is minus 20 over three. Okay, that is the um, average voltage applied. Um, so this is VL average. It is minus 20 over 3, it is not equal to 0, so volt second balance is violated. Okay. So um, in response, if you look at the inductor current, the slope here is same as before, it is 20 over L, and the slope here is now minus 20 over L. Okay. And because uh, it is um, coming down at the same slope, but for a much longer duration than in the on interval where it was rising, the current reaches a much more uh, negative value than what it started with. Okay. And then if we consider the next cycle, it starts from this a negative value, rises at the same 20 over L slope, reaches some value, but then it comes down uh, much more during the off interval because of the um, um, same slope but longer duration. Uh, therefore, what we see is that the current, the average current is actually monotonically decreasing. It is not in steady state, 
the waveform do not repeat cycle after cycle. Um, and the waveform at um, IL at say T0 plus TS is not equal to IL at T0, okay, which means we are violating, so this is not in steady state. Um, if I consider another waveform here, uh, where I am applying um, the same 20 volts during the on interval, but during the off interval, I apply just zero voltage. So here the volt second, the average voltage, real average, would be 20 over 3 plus just zero. So that's um, 20 over 3, a positive voltage. So in response, the current rises at a slope of 20 over L during the on interval. And during the off interval, since the applied voltage is simply zero, the slope M2 equals zero. And the current does not rise or fall uh, during the off interval at all and uh, remains at the same value. And in the next cycle, it rises with the same slope 20 over L um, during the on interval, then remains flat during the off interval. So monotonically, the average current is rising. Okay? So once again, that is not steady state. And that is because we are violating the old second balance. We are average is not equal to zero. Now, this type of situation can occur if we have um, a diode directly across across the inductor, as uh, shown here. So we have uh, uh, what is inside this block, inside this block, uh, called as the rest of the circuit, is a network of um, elements. Let's say uh, they're all valid. Okay? They do not violate any principle. And just the inductor uh, is brought outside of this circuit. And let's say we have this ideal diode connected directly in parallel with the inductor. Okay. So uh, let's define the VL to be of this polarity. So let's say the rest of the circuit applies a positive voltage during a part of the switching period. So that will be this portion, okay, VL, 20 volts. And uh, during the remaining part, let's say uh, it tries to apply a negative voltage, but because the diode is across the inductor, it does not allow a negative voltage. So VL would be zero during the rest of the switching period. Now, as we saw in the previous slide, this is not a valid steady state waveform. The VL average is um, is positive, not zero. Therefore, the current is mon average current is monotonically increasing, okay? and it is not a valid circuit. Um, but that is uh, considering that the both inductor and the diode are ideal. If we consider some small uh, winding resistance of the inductor or uh, a very large forward drop for the diode then this can be theoretically a valid circuit. Uh, but most practical converters will not have this situation. Okay, so let's uh, solve two um, fairly simple uh, example problems. First one is uh, shown here. So I have this um, network of, uh, let's say, completely valid um, circuit elements. Just the inductor is brought out and uh, its voltage VL is, um, uh, is shown here. Now the question is, given that the circuit is in DC steady state, calculate this value of V2. Okay. So it's a, a straightforward application of the old second balance principle. It is given that we are in DC steady state and the circuit is valid. Therefore, just, let's just write VL average um, is um, during the, say the on interval, it is 100 and it is 100 times 4 microsecond divided by the total period, which is 10 microsecond, 4 plus 6. Uh, during the off interval, it is minus V2, so minus V2 times the duration is 6 microsecond divided by the total period, 10 microsecond. And by the whole second balance in uh, DC steady state, this should be equal to 0. Okay. So we can cancel the 10 microseconds, you can even cancel these micros, so what we are have what we have is uh, this 400 equals v2 times uh, 6. Okay? Therefore, the answer is v2 equals 400 over 6 volts. Okay? The applied voltage here is minus v2. So this this um, voltage during the on off interval is minus 400 over 6, such that the two areas are equal and cancel each other. The next one um, is an application in actually deriving the input-output relationship of uh, a certain DC-DC converter. Okay. Uh, so we are given that uh, in this converter, in this uh, circuit, um, the voltage across the inductor is given by 
this waveform. Okay. So during the on interval of duration d times ts, the inductor sees a voltage equal to the input voltage positive Vn. And during the off interval, which is 1 minus d ts duration, the voltage across the inductor is actually negative of the output voltage minus Vo. Okay. So given this, and this could be, you know, in the analysis of a converter, this could be obtained just by looking at the um, uh, turn on and turn off of the switches and the diodes, and we can actually draw this waveform just by looking at the circuit. Okay. But in this example, that waveform has been given, and we have to use um, volt second balance principle to actually derive this uh, Vivo over Vn. Okay. So let's do that. We are given that this is in um, uh, DC steady state. So anytime we draw the, anytime we try to derive an input output relationship uh, of a converter, we assume that the operation is in DC steady state. Um, then we can write this VL bar equals zero. And in this um, uh, application, this, this would be Vn during the on interval duration of dts over ds um, or you can now we have some experience i can directly write this to be vn times d and uh, during the off interval it is minus vo times 1 minus d okay and that is equal to zero therefore vo over vn uh, just by rearranging the terms is equal to d over 1 minus d okay so that is the input output relationship of this particular converter in terms of its um, duty ratio. Okay. So we'll see that many types of buck boost converters have this kind of a waveform for the inductive voltage and therefore their input output relationship is given by this expression.